sequel of um, starting with a sweep, moving to attacks, they're going to lead to somebody defending, and then you can do another attack, leading to, an, if defending, to another one, another one. It's basically four situations that could happen on this whole sequel. Look a little beautiful on the camera, but obviously might not be as pretty when you pull this off. But it's a good sequel to try to you know, go from one position to another. Starting with uh, a simple close guard and this, you know, this sweep, flower sweep, people call. So basically what happened is, you know, I'm going to control the same sleeve here. And on this side, instead you grab the pens like majority of people do, I like sometimes to just push a little bit the knee out, making a reaction for him to try to come back. When that happened, bring the knee in, I go and I catch and I move him to that way. If he doesn't defend, you know, as I, I spin around under, I believe he'll put the hand to brace to don't go. When this happens, I have a perfect setting to just pass the leg over and get the arm lock, right? Which is easy to get it and not too hard to defend. My bring this arm out as I do, which is going to lead me to a step and turning this into another arm lock on this side. Instead, you go for the arm, now I'm going for this one. Logical that people will think this is, could go to omoplata, but I'm going to do something unpredictable, and I'm going to turn, moving my knee to the mat and extending here to get arm lock from here. Also, because he's basically free to roll, he could roll. So I can allow him to roll. As soon as he do the roll, I will step on the hip so I can have more extension here of the arm, boom, pulling him close to me and wrapping my leg to get a reverse triangle from the back here, 